Starter and basic. Whose? And possessive case. Apostrophe, S. Scene 1. In a school cafeteria. Five minutes later. Whose cell phone is this? Oh, I think it's Brian's. Whose? Jiking. Whose cell phone is this? De quem é esse celular? I think it's Brian's. Eu acho que ele é do Brian. Repeating. Whose cell phone is this? Oh, I think it's Brian's. Yeah, I think it's his phone too. Maybe it's Jennifer's phone. No. It's not hers. Her phone case is a different color. So it's not Jennifer's. It's Brian's. Possessive case or genitive case. Brian's phone. O telefone do Brian. Jennifer's phone. O telefone da Jennifer. It's not Jennifer's. Ele, o celular, não é da Jennifer. It's Brian's. Ele é do Brian. And whose keys are these? I think they're Jennifer's. Whose keys are these? De quem são essas chaves? I think they're Jennifer's. Eu acho que elas são da Jennifer. Singular. Whose cell phone is this? It's Brian's. Plural. Whose keys are these? They're Jennifer's. Brian's phone. O telefone do Brian. Jennifer's keys. As chaves da Jennifer. Scene 2. In a library. Whose cap is this? It's Nicholas's cap. It's Nicholas's cap. Quando o nome da pessoa já possui a letra S, há duas maneiras de usar o possessivo. 1. Um, usar a regra geral e acrescentar apóstrofo mais a letra S. Nicholas's cap. 2. Acrescentar somente o apóstrofo. Nicholas Cap. Scene 3. John's House. Nas cenas anteriores você viu que. Whose? Significa. De quem? Nessa cena, vamos revisar a palavra. Who? Que significa. Quem? Man, can I invite some people to swim here in the pool tomorrow? Mãe, posso convidar umas pessoas para para nadar aqui na piscina amanhã? Who? My classmates, Brian, Mark, Nicholas, 
Jennifer, Mia, and Sylvia. Only six people. Okay. You can invite your classmates. Scene 4. The next day, at John's pool. Sylvia is very sexy. She and five more classmates are coming here. Ela e mais cinco colegas de sala estão vindo aqui. But I want to speak with Sylvia alone. Mas eu quero falar com a Sylvia sozinha. I want to kiss Sylvia's lips. I want to kiss her lips. Lips. Lábios. Sylvia's lips. Os lábios da Sylvia. Her lips. Os lábios dela. I want to kiss Sylvia's lips. I want to kiss her lips. I want Sylvia to be my girl. I want Sylvia to be mine. This girl is mine. Lembre-se que quando eu uso adjetivos possessivos, my, your, his, her, our, their, eu preciso ter um substantivo depois. I want Sylvia to be my girl. Eu quero que a Sylvia seja minha garota. E quando eu uso pronomes possessivos? Mine, yours, his, hers, ours and theirs. Eu não uso nenhum substantivo depois. I want Sylvia to be mine. Eu quero que a Sylvia seja minha. Mas eu posso usar um substantivo antes. This girl is mine. Essa garota é minha. Hey John, how are you doing? I'm great. Sylvia is very sexy. And she's in my house now. We want to wear our swimsuits. Wear. Vestir. Usar uma roupa. We want to wear our swimsuits. Nós queremos usar nossas roupas de banho, roupas de nadar. Uh, where is the bathroom? It's over there. Scene 5. Girls in the bathroom. Oh, this swimsuit is beautiful. Whose swimsuit is it? I think it's Jennifer's. Yes, it's mine. Your swimsuit is beautiful. Thanks. Whose swimsuit is this? I think it's yours, Alicia. No, it's not mine. I think it's Sylvia's. Yes, this swimsuit is mine. Your swimsuit is great. Oh, thanks. I really like the swimsuit. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Um dos meus favoritos. Mia, is this yours? No, it's not mine. I think it's Alicia's. Mine is a one-piece swimsuit. One piece swimsuit. Roupa de nadar em uma única peça. No Brasil chamamos de maiô. Two piece swimsuit. Or bikini. The name bikini is because the nuclear test at Bikini Islands in 1946. Sylvia, Jennifer, your swimsuits are very sexy. They are bikinis.
My swimsuit is not a bikini. Mine is a one-piece swimsuit. I don't like bikinis. I prefer one-piece swimsuits. The water is great. Get in here. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi John. John. Hi, Hi girls. girls. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Go wear your swimsuits. Scene 6. Brian, Mark, and Nicholas are in the bathroom. These are the girls' clothes and shoes. These are the girls' clothes. Essas são as roupas das meninas. Como girls, garotas, meninas, é uma palavra no plural que já possui a letra S, você só precisa acrescentar o apóstrofo. Whose blouse is this? I think it's Mia's. And whose shoes are these? They are Jennifer's. I know because they're one of her favorites. And whose high heels are these? They are Sylvia's. They are my loves. Elas são do meu amor. I need to tell Sylvia about my feelings. Eu preciso dizer para Sylvia sobre os meus sentimentos. And I hope Sylvia's feelings are the same as mine. E eu espero que os sentimentos da Sylvia sejam os mesmos que os meus. We are going to the pool. Nicholas, wear your swimsuit and let's go. Ok, I just need a minute. You can go without me. Ok, eu só preciso de um minuto. Vocês podem ir sem mim. Ok, see you in the pool. See you. I like you, Sylvia. I like you too, Nicholas. You are... Good friend. Thanks. You are a good friend, too. Sylvia, I like you a lot. My feelings for you... My feelings for you are special. You are kind, friendly, and very pretty. You are the girl of my dreams. I'm really into you. I love you, Sylvia. What are your feelings for me? Uh, my feelings for you are the same. I love you too. Okay, I'm ready to talk with Sylvia. Ok, eu estou pronto para falar com a Silvia. Scene 7 Oh! No, I'm... I'm late! I'm... I'm an idiot! Silvia is into John. I... I don't have a chance. I don't have a chance. I'm a big idiot! Fucking idiot! You... I'm late. It's over. I don't have a chance. It's over. Sylvia and Joe. Sylvia and Joe are together. They are together and I'm here alone. I'm here alone. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
Wow! Nicholas is sad. I need to go there. But first, let's talk about the next videos. In the next video, learn about weather and seasons. After that, see the continuation of Nicholas, John and Sylvia's story. Quando uma coisa pertence a mais de uma pessoa, você usa o apóstrofo apenas na última pessoa. Nicholas, John and Sylvia's story. A história do Nicholas, do John e da Sylvia. Os três fazem parte da mesma história, a história de um triângulo amoroso. Repeating last lines. In the next video, learn about weather and seasons. After that, see the continuation of Nicholas, John and Sylvia's story. I need to go now. See you in the next videos.